Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Face shave time, I've just finished off a head shave using the exact same soap and razor that I'll be using now, just a different brush in this shave, and it was Gentleman's Groom Room, Essence of Scotland, Sweet Gale. Now the scent on Sweet Gale is pretty much cola bottles. It smells like cola bottles. Not the fizzy kind, the ones without the fizz. Very sweet, very gourmand. Makes you want to pick up a bag of sweets and eat it. Now the brush is my Craven Shaving Siri brush. This was designed by Charles Bullock. And I chose the colour scheme of the Siri logo from Apple. And I think he knocked it out of the park to be honest with you. I think it's a cracker. Now the knot that is in here is a 26mm Duranot from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, which as far as I'm aware is no longer available from PAA. But you can get something extremely similar from Milton over at Turn and Shave. I think it might be called the Half Moon Knot. I'm not sure. But this has got a lot of backbone. It's quite dense for a synthetic knot. It's got some scrub in it, but it's got absolutely beautiful soft tips. So there's no real, there's no harshness to this brush at all, nothing. I'm just going to dip it once more. I was soaking the silk during my whole head shave, so it's been soaking for about 15 minutes. Maybe, oh, actually, probably less than 15 minutes, but not much less. Oh, what a fantastic scent. It smells very natural as well, which I like. Scoop out there, there's not much left in there, which is great. The brush is super loaded. And I'm just going to rinse the soap out in hot water. Now, it's a glycerin base. Oh, God, that water is roasting. Glycerin based soap. Jesus. You can see how it's dark right in the middle and sort of light around the outside. And if you swift flip it over, you can see all the bits of the herbs and stuff that are in there. It's quite, quite amazing. It smells fantastic. Right, just wipe the face. So, yeah, head shave today with a DE razor, with the carved aluminium, with the same blade I'm using now. I've just switched out that blade, which is the one I just used. That's going in the bin. I used it once and chopped it away. It's great, isn't it? It's amazing how DE shaving is so much cheaper when you actually find the razor you love and you don't start spending a fortune on different razors. Let's paint this load on. This is really thick. Now this silk is made in Scotland, in the Shetlands. It smells fantastic. It's glycerin based. It's very sweet to the taste. Very sweet to the taste. Oh, I could almost eat this. Doesn't taste at all like soap. Maybe it's not soap. Now it felt like I had a little bit of a reaction on my head, however looking at it now and feeling it now, I don't think I did, I don't know. I definitely felt like it. So all I'm doing now is just dipping the tips, doing my old dipping paint technique. And as you can see, we're almost there. Probably one more dip. What I'm looking for is my whole face to be pretty much translucent. As you can see it is. It's very airy. Is it going to work? Of course it's going to work. It works every time. It never hasn't worked. This morning I sat with the family and we watched Red Dwarf The Promised Land on Dave on Catch Up. And it was for me as a hardcore Red Dwarf fan, I loved it. I thought it was brilliant, really cheesy. 
there's a lot of stuff in there that went back to the days when it was first made in the 80s and I really enjoyed it I still don't think it was as good as the series when you get sort of six episodes and all different personally I think they could have fitted that whole movie into one episode But they didn't, and either way, it was still good. I think it could have been better. I think some of the actors they chose for the for the extras or the not the extras, but the cat people were a bit. They weren't very good actors. I don't know if that's what they were going for. It's getting hot in here now. I'm starting to sweat. Not the uni to know that. I'll be looking like Paul H in two minutes. Oh, drips. Slather going everywhere. Pretty good, eh? It is a very, very good soap. It works. You can work with it easily. Oh, that is super easily. Probably easier than, than a lot of soaps out there. But it's still slick, protective, dense, creamy. It's far superior to Colonel Cox. Based, based on glycerin soaps, it's far superior. So here we go. With a brand new Derby blade in the car of Christopher Bradley Razor. Aluminium with a B plate. 3.25 inch handle. And here we go. Now this Derby blade came out of a pack of Derbys which I had already opened a long time ago. It was the last one in the pack. So I thought, give it a go and see if it still feels smooth. And so far it feels okay. Does it feel as smooth as the other ones? This is what I mean. It's still smooth. But it's not as smooth as the other ones. I've got about 26 hours growth. About to start a new book today from Matthew Riley. And I can't remember the bloody name of it. Seven, seven something. It's the first book of a series of Jack West Jr. books, which is the main character. So I've got all the books in the series that are available as yet. We're still waiting on two and one, so it goes seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm waiting on two and one being released, so hopefully by the time I've read all these ones, they'll all be released. No, that ain't happening. That's really slick. I think the way things are going, I'll be reading those books very, very quickly, considering I've not got much else in my life at the moment other than getting the kids through school, through the sports, and trying to keep us physically and mentally fit as I can at home. Sound like a broken record sometimes, don't I? with this salt really you know for the price as well I couldn't help myself fantastic It's 
it's hot in here, real hot. I'm not going to attempt fake here, hopefully. But I haven't opened this up for a couple of days now. This is really residually slick. Wow. I don't remember it being this good. It could be the fact that I soaked it first. I haven't soaked it before, I've just got straight onto the dry soap. Maybe it just releases a little bit more of the, the properties of the soap. This is super slick. And as you can see, the lather is superb. Right, cross grain, other way. Still super comfortable. Now expecting a few weepers to in here as always. Oh, here we go. Highly impressed with the soap today. Really impressed with it. I mean, I've never talked it down before because it, it was a good soap. It was never this good. That's incredible soap residual slickness. The lather is far superior to the previous ladders that I've made. And so far, I'm having a trouble free shave. Fantastic. What a cracker. That's a fantastic shave, I tell you what. Head and face today. All we need now is a quality Scottish artisan brush maker and razor maker. That's bad love in it, I suppose. <laughs> Two weeks of it, went under my chin, and that's it. Quick after that, I think that's a good effort. Just a little bit of soap left in the base here, just a tiny bit.
beautiful. Right. Whew. Fuck is roasting today. The Gentleman's Grim Room, traditional shaving soap, essence of Scotland, sweet gale, enriched in fragrance with bog myrtle, natural honey, mixed spices, cedarwood, and Aberfeldy single malt whiskey. What do I get? Cola. <laughs> Cola cubes. Cold the bottles, that's what I get. But it smells fantastic. And the post shave, it's way better than I remember as well. This is real. I mean, it's quite tacky. Which would suggest moisturising properties to me. My skin doesn't feel dry, it doesn't feel tight, it feels fantastic. I am now going to finish off with some AP Reserve Essential Restoration Peptide Concentrate Serum. Just wet my hands first. Dry my head as well. One squirt, which looks like that. And once again, I'm just going to highlight this because this is something that's re reasonably unusual for me on daily shaves. My neck. There's hardly any redness at all. Maybe a little bit right there. But everything else looks really good. Um, yeah. At the moment, it's getting to the point now where I'm having to put the praise for that on this because it's all that I've changed in my routine. The razors have stayed the same. The blades have pretty much stayed the same. The brushes and everything are all the same. The only thing that's really changed in my routine every day and every shave is AP Reserve Essentials peptide concentrate serum it seems to do something i can't really grumble with it. it works very well the brush for today was my beautiful craving shaving brush the siri brush now a lot of people have said they don't like these little coins i think the little coin looks better and i think it lets you see more of the base of the brush especially if you've got a clear brush and you want to see through the bottom of it you can see way more through the bottom with that little coin than you can with the big coin it's it's a, I mean everything, the ratio, the sizes, the weight, the feeling of it, the finish, it's impeccable. There's no scratching, striations, marks, nothing on that handle. Spotless. The razor, superb, as one of the wife says. The car, Christopher Bradley razor. Best razor on earth. Just hands down the best razor on earth when it comes to traditional shaving in my opinion. Out does everything. Until I master straight shaving, which, you know, some, one day I probably will get to a point where I really want to give it a go and I'll have a bit more time. At the moment, it's the best time for me, other than finances. So in terms of getting strops and things, that's quite hard. But I've got the razor from the stallion. I've got another one on the way. I'm just going to give it a crack again and just see how it goes and hopefully I can keep hold of these ones without having to offload them or put them to anyone. And I finished off today with the face shave with the AP Reserve Essentials Restoration Peptide Concentrate Serum. There's ingredients list if you want to have a little peeky boot. There's a shit ton in it. Stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive, especially on Easter weekend. Stay at home, isolate, stay safe, keep clear of the virus. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.